Hello everyone, my name's Mike, I'm with Rock Interface, and welcome to our how-to video series, where today we're going to actually take an 1129 from Sikamiya, and we're going to get it lit up to Gate Manager. Um, we're going to take this out of the box, we're going to use a product called Appliance Launcher on the computer, and we're going to take a few minutes and get these two uh, working together. Pretty excited to bring this how-to series to you, and you can check us out on our YouTube channel, or you can check us out on our website, and we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to come right back, and we're going to have this thing uh, powered up and uh, internet connection ready to go. Give me a few minutes. Okay, guys, welcome back. Uh, we got the unit powered up, and we've got uh, an ethernet cable connected to a PC to this unit. Uh, you don't need to worry about where your IP address on your computer or what your adapter is set up for because this searches by MAC address. So simply plug in a cable and the lights kind of tell you a lot. Right now the light uh, status light is blinking red. Most likely because either the unit's not configured but most likely it is not connected to the internet. And right now I don't have any internet connections to the uplink port set up so that's why it's flashing red. And if someone connected uh, via Link Manager remotely, you'll see the connect light. So there is some status or there's some things that can um, people can troubleshoot locally at the machine or at the remote site to see potentially what's going on with the, uh, with the site manager. So uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and configure this. We just, again, pulled this out of the box and we're ready to jump over to the computer and check it out. Okay, so now we're actually, I just uh, took Appliance Launcher and, and double clicked on it. It's up and running. I'm going to go ahead and hit search. And again, like I said, it, it's uh, picked out by MAC address. Again, this Appliance Launcher software is free from Sikamiya. You can go up to the website. We'll show it here and you can um, uh, go ahead and download Appliance Launcher. But you're going to need this tool to initially set up a site manager for sure. So it did go ahead and find the site manager. We're going to go ahead and answer a few questions. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and hit next. And this screen is a setup information for the local de uh, device port, or we call it Dev1. I usually leave this alone because once I get this lit up to Gate Manager and it actually gets out to the uh, up to the internet, out to the internet and up to gate manager I can configure these settings at will so I just usually typically leave it now if you know what your device you're trying to talk to and you know the IP structure go ahead and put it in but after this we'll hit next um, here is the uplink setting and parameters and again in rock studio one where we're located I have a um, the internet is going to offer up a DH or an IP address so I set it up for DHCP so it can go ahead and get its IP address. So that's kind of, and again, um, if you need to put in some other information to your internet or uplink port, go ahead and put it in here. But uh, typically it's set up for DHCP in most applications. And a lot of the other items, we have cellular versions of the site manager where you could put in, um, oh, maybe a pin code or an APN. But we also have an 1149, which has a Wi-Fi connector, and all this is connected to the Uplink 2. So you have the Uplink and Uplink 2 options to get you up to the Internet. Again, in this 1129, what we're doing today, we do not have an Uplink uh, 2 option. Okay, we're going to go ahead and hit Next. And this is where you do have to put in some information to get it to talk to Gate Manager. These are the gate manager parameters. If you're with Rock Interface, um, we're going to use the North America site called the GM22 site. We're level one tech support for all of our customers. Level two tech support is with Sikamia. And sometimes they'll ask you, hey, what gate manager are you on? So I always identify it by the GM22. But I do have to put in the IP address to make this happen. So it's a 54 and it's a 172, 149, and 210. So that is the IP address, 54, 172, 149, 210. The domain token, don't let it fool you, it's a fancy word for a path. 
So again, we're level one support. You're with Rock Interface. So our domain name for the Rock Interface is capital R R O C K underscore capital I uh, interface. And then you put in dot, so rock interface dot. We have a demo location within rock interface, and it is called rock space, capital I interface, space, capital D demo. And check the spelling. It is fussy. It's got to be correct. Yep, everything looks good. And now we're going to go over and do the appliance name. And because we're located here at Rock Studio One, I'm going to put in Rock Studio One for the site manager name and location of this uh, device. And I'll go ahead and hit next. And I'll go ahead and hit save and reboot. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and take a look at our Sikamia box. Now we hit save and reboot. And um, it actually went through a light cycle from the save and rebooting. I'm going to unplug the uh, cable from my computer and I'm going to go ahead and plug into the uplink port. This is again a Rock Studio One. Uh, it, the unit is set up for DHCP. It's going to get an IP address and hopefully we'll take a look at these lights here in a few minutes. The status light. As soon as that stops blinking red and goes to green, we know we're up and running on the internet. And then I'll take a look at Gate Manager and see some of the things we can do from Gate Manager once we got this unit up and running. Okay, now if you take a look at the status light, it just went to green. So we did everything correctly for the gate manager parameters. It's on the internet and it's communicating up to gate manager. So now let's go ahead and take a look at this guy over here on gate manager back on the PC. Okay, so back here on uh, gate manager as we're taking a look at it, this again, um, it, it is uh, we'll talk, maybe do another video on how to get Gate Manager set up and some of the things that we can do. But um, I am actually uh, up and running, signed into Gate Manager, logged in, and under my Rock Interface demo uh, area, I now see with the green check mark the Rock Studio One uh, Site Manager box is now up and running. So I can highlight that or click it. And remember, I said we could change the local settings. Well, now you can go over to Site Manager, click on Site Manager, and now you can actually go ahead and the local GUI or the graphical user interface, as they call it, we now can actually go in and play with any of the settings like I was doing locally if I was connected to it locally with Appliance Launcher. So here at DevPort, I can go and hit Edit, and now I can put and change any of those settings Go ahead and hit save and it will the settings will take because I remote it in. Remember, I'm communicating from this uh, PC via Wi-Fi to my uh, to the internet and uh, my site manager is connected a uh, hardwired connection here at Rock Studio One and um, it's up and running to gate manager. So I can always there's a tons of settings in here. I can I'm not going to go through all of those. I just wanted to go through the basic setup and make sure that you had the correct uh, IP address for Gate Manager and you had the correct domain name or path, if you will, when you go in here to domain name and that is done correct and you gave it an appliance name. Those are the only three settings we did to this unit using Appliance Launcher and and then we can take it from there. So. Um, I think uh, that's it for the video today. Um, again, thank you so much for being a part of our video. Again, this is a how-to series. You can check us out on rockinterface.com. You can go to our YouTube channel. And again, you can download the Appliance Launcher software from this location. Everybody have a great day. We got more videos to come. Thank you so much for watching. Bingo.